All right, I got an iPhone 7 Plus here with uh, that came in for data recovery. Um, I've already stuck it on the board holder, but as you can see, the first thing you do is just kind of look look at the board, and see what's going on here, and, and you see a lot of corrosion up top of the board here. Uh, if you look closely, you will notice that every single one of these components are missing. Gone. Look at this. Gone. I think the guy probably tried to take the. I think he probably tried to take the um, shield off and probably just dusted all this stuff. And this stuff is all bad. And this is crooked. So it looks like it was mostly isolated at the top here. And then this all looks pretty clean. Uh, just a little bit of heat here. And this all looks clean. These are the important ones. You know, this is this home button display, display chart port. Um, so let's look at the other side real quick before I get started on it. Um, bottom board looks relatively clean, so that's all good. But he definitely used some brute force to get the shield off. Alright, let's find out what's going on with this stupid thing. Uh, let's see, okay, so logic board looks pretty clean. Uh, there is a little bit of a chip here. I don't even know what this is, but hopefully that's not too important. Probably not. Maybe. This all looks pretty good. No problemos here. Uh, and then the to again, the top side looks pretty bad. So just kind of corrosion all around here. So, um, I've already done a little bit of poking around and I've, I've already found a short on BDD main which is BCC main BDD main okay um, so I've been using dial mode for pretty much everything these days and if I check this then if I check the inside of this dial mode it is shorted to ground shorted to ground shorted to ground shorted to ground okay so uh, now let's go over and take a look and <laughs> what do we do when you have a short on VDD main man you just start I think you just start banging away and just start removing everything anything and everything connected so I mean if you think about it most of the stuff was isolated at the top of the board so that's kinda of where we're gonna focus alright so I think since there's really I mean, this component right here looks pretty bad. This one at the top right here, which this one right here, that looks pretty bad. So I'm just gonna go ahead and remove that first because, uh, yep. So let's, let's just go ahead and remove it and see what happens. You know what? I'm not gonna use heat. I'm actually gonna use my heavy tweezers and I'm just gonna poke at it there you go dang it people disturb alright it's gone so let's measure it again shorted shorted still shorted okay so Oh man, this is gonna be fun. Definitely gonna be fun. Could be anywhere. I think we'll just remove we'll re remove all the ones that look bad, man, and uh, that's that's where we'll go. So for the most part, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna use brute force here. I'm not really gonna you know I'm most of this is gonna be my tweezer my uh, hard tweezers here. Put a lot of I don't really have a whole lot of force there is problem.
All right, that's all good. Get a new Q-tip. The hell is that, man? Oh. That's not shorted anymore, so let's test it again. Maybe we'll get lucky. Oh, I think we're good actually. Let's see. Yep, not shorted anymore. So it was one of those four. I don't know exactly which one it was, but it was one of those four that was uh, causing the um, BDD main short. So we got a little bit lucky there. But we have relieved the short. That was pretty good. So I'm a little bit concerned about these connectors up here and all this all this stuff up here. Um, I'm, I'm tempted to just remove them because we don't really need them anyways. And if they were well, we're not fixing this phone, so you know what I'm saying, sir. So. So what do we do? Let's see. Maybe just remove. I don't, I don't know. I guess we can just try to boot it up without removing it and see what happens. I'm just afraid that it's going to cause it. It's causing a short of some sort, and something else is going to blow up. Man, that's so hard to remove. All right, let's just clean it up and then not remove it. All right, because we are lazy. All right, that's cleaned. We have re we have relieved our short, <laughs> and we are on our way to extracting the data. Maybe. Oh man, do we have a seven any seven plus stuff here? Seven plus? Alright, we got a seven plus connector. Uh I got a seven plus battery. We got a seven plus battery. This is it? Yep. Alright, so I am not gonna. I'm not even gonna plug a screen into it right now. I'm just gonna plug my um my ammeter into it, my lightning cable and ammeter. I just want to see how much current is drawing. Well, it's drawing just about zero, so that's good. No, it's not good. All right, so let's do this then. Did it say one? They said one? Uh oh. Alright, let's plug our um let's plug our DC power supply into it now and let's see if we can I don't think from what I understand we can't boot with this thing for some reason. But we shall try and see what happens. Okay, so my DC power supply is plugged in. I'm gonna prompt the boot. I think I'm gonna say that's a negative. Point one four. Is anything getting hot? Point one four. Oh, it's it's going. Point two three. If I if it goes up to like point nine, it's going. Looks like it's going. Point two, point one five, point three. Oh, there you go. We're booting. All right. Oh, did it go high? <laughs> it went high right at the end there. All right. So let's plug a screen into it. Let's see if we get something.
Is this even Rock Man? Is this thing torn? No. This is torn. Why do I even have this? This display is not good. We have a seven plus. Okay, let me get a seven plus. This All right, so we are still in business here. I'm just getting a screen. Right towards the end of that boot process there. You know what? I wonder if this battery's bad. Anyways, um, maybe TriStar's bad or something. So I'm going to plug it in here, and let's see what happens with the display. <laughs> Okay, so boot this mother up. Okay. Oh, what happened to my screen here? Okay, you guys can see it. Okay, I got a little faint. I got an Apple logo. That's good. My DC power supply looks pretty good. Right before I unplugged it, though, like. It looked like okay, okay, reboot, that's fine. Now it's now it's taking one point six amps, so something is not right here. Let's see if let's see if we can figure out what's getting hot. Okay, let me push this down a little bit. All right, let's go. Let's boot up. Come on. This might take a little while to boot because, you know, it's got that nothing's really plugged in right now. Nothing's getting really hot though, so I'm okay with that. That's cool. So, let me I'm just going to pause this until it boots because sometimes it takes forever to boot when when something something's wrong with it, like proximity sensor or, or something you know so let me just make this small let's see if iTunes recognizes it oh, I got this thing going So iTunes doesn't recognize it. That really blows. You know what? Maybe it's this charge port because some of these cheap charge ports, man, they suck. Should probably use a known good one. It did prompt the boot though, but it just didn't start up. Oh, just reboot it again. Let me try a new charge port while we're at it. I have a 7 plus charge for here. We do have one. Okay, so we got a 7 plus charge for here that I'm pretty sure works. Okay. There you go. Now I'm getting something. 0.7. Okay, so let me plug it in. Maybe we'll get something. Negative. It's still booting. Alright, let me pause it until this thing boots up. If it boots up. If it doesn't boot up, then we got other problems. Alright, so this mother booted. Uh, the touch works. So, let me... 
Okay, we are in business here. But let me make sure I turn on the um, the touch uh, the um, the home button, on-screen home button. So assistive touch, that's what it's called. Okay, let me turn that on. Make sure I get the home button on here. The problem now is that hmm. problem now is that iTunes does not recognize it. You know, so. So, uh, what do we do here? Um, yeah, iTunes doesn't recognize it, so we might also have a TriStar issue. So I think what I'm gonna do is, I think what I'm gonna do is try to, um, maybe I'll get his, maybe I'll get his, um. Is iCloud info? Maybe. Oh, sorry about that. I want to make sure you guys don't see the personal info here. Anyway, so this this thing is back in business. Um, I don't know what to do at this point. Uh, let's see. Do I try to replace TriStar? Or do I try to get his? Or do I just tell him how to do it? Um, I I think I'm gonna send an email and then we'll go from there. And uh, easiest way would be to. Since he just sent the logic board, easiest way would be I'm assuming any desoldered all the shields. I think the easiest way would be to have him, uh, you know, do the iCloud backup at home. But the only problem with that is that, you know, if we give it back to him and, and and then he can't get all the data off, then what do we do then? Right, we're screwed because we don't have a backup of the data on our side. So, do we replace TriStar? Hmm. It might not even be TriStar. Is the issue? Because right now I was not pulling any amps on the ammeter, and uh, yeah, it's pulling nothing on the ammeter, and then and then uh, it's not being recognized. So uh, uh, we'll we'll figure it out. Um, I don't know if I'm gonna record the rest of this, but anyways, uh, that here's how to figure out a short on VDD main on an iPhone 7 Plus for data water damaged iPhone 7 Plus for data recovery.